This is a video of a very, very small motor that I've been working on. That's the rotor. Let's see if I can. This part right here, that's the commutator for the DC coil. That's the stator housing. That's the uh, spacers and output shaft gearing. This is the planetary gear box that this thing is on. There's the bearings. And here's the gearbox housing. See where it's spline on the inside of the housing. This is the actual gearbox and motor assembly when they're assembled. And what's happening to them is the uh, The grease in the gearbox for all these planetaries and these bearings, the grease is actually going up inside the motor through here and filling the motor all around this with uh, liquefied grease, which causes too much torque on the motor. And then the motor burns the brushes out that are supposed to be riding on the commutator and then the motor quits working. Each one of these units is uh, about $300. So, but I thought you might enjoy seeing how small these are. This, by the way, is a stirring stick for coffee to show you how small these things are. They are very, very tiny. Let me give you a uh, scale. very small and see here's the scale on the motor for you metric fanatics they are very difficult to work on just because of how small they are And I think the uh, Austrians know that. So it's a lot easier just to buy a new one. But the problem is the availability of them is not always the best. And there, let me find one that's got a name on it. Well, they've all evaded me. Oh, here we go. F A U L. H A B E R. Frobular, fro. I'm not German. Frau Haber, Frau Haber, Frau Haber. Mini motor. Swiss made. And that's the, the ratio and style of gearbox. Four hundred, a 246 to one ratio.